Hello, I'm Dylan Hinson from the Product Innovation Team, and today I'm going to show you how to reconnect drive parameters with the workspace in the instances where the drive parameters get disconnected from the workspace. So derived parameters are these types of parameters that are created when we run PCN analysis or certain plugins will create drive parameters um, like flowsum, phenograph. And so these parameters hold the plugin calculation information or the TSNE algorithm information. And they create that new parameter in the workspace, like for instance, in TSNE, it's like the TSNE X and TSNE Y. And it represents that data. But what can happen is when, when these parameters are made, it makes a CSV file in a folder to store that information. But sometimes if we move the workspace or move that folder, the folder in the workspace can get disconnected, similar to how the workspace and FCS files can get disconnected. And so if this happens, we're gonna have to reconnect the workspace to that folder. So let's go ahead and do that. This workspace has been disconnected from its folder. So when I drag and drop the workspace here, drag and drop, so I'm going to open the workspace, but before I can open it, it tells me this. Uh, I have to find the plugins folder. And what it means, it doesn't mean to find the plugins folder, like the plugins folder that's in my applications. It means I need to go and find the derived parameters folder, the folder that holds the analysis for my plugins and for my TCN analysis for this workspace. So let me go ahead and hit, hit find. And I can just walk my way to it. It's on my desktop, it's in my additional files, and here's my derived parameters folder. So normally this folder is created next to the workspace. You can see it has the same name as my workspace. They're both called pfix example. Um, so usually it's, it's next to the workspace. So if you're looking for it, if you maybe have lost it, a good place to check is the place the workspace was originally saved because it's probably also in that, that folder or that location on your computer. So within this folder, you can see there's a flowsum and a tsne folder. Each of those folders have more information about that, those analysis. But what I want to choose to reconnect the workspace is the folder with the workspace is name, which is just the pfix example folder that I'm already on. I don't want to go any further. So I'm going to go ahead and hit choose. Now the workspace is going to open and it's going to have its derived parameters as I expect them. And you can see if I go ahead and open this up, I have my TC analysis ready to go. What might also happen though, sometimes Rather than it getting disconnected when we run our analysis, sometimes we can accidentally delete our plugin analysis here in the workspace. So maybe I've deleted my flow sum. I've deleted my flow sum a slash b. That's the derived parameter right there. So maybe I've lost my workspace, but I really like that flow sum and I want it back. Well, what I can do to get that flow sum back is I go to that derived parameters folder that I just reconnected to. Pfix example, flow sum. And the flowsum makes a lot of outputs when it runs. So you can see there's a lot of images here, a lot of stuff that I really am not interested in. The thing that I need that all drive parameters make that they use is a CSV file, but it's called usually exit. Ah, here we go. The epa.csv in the case of flowsum. Usually it'll have the plugin's name or the type like tsne, for instance's name, and then end in CSV. So let me go ahead and drag and drop that. If I just drag and drop this file, the CSV file, onto the sample that I originally ran the analysis on, I can apply that analysis back onto the sample. So let me see here. I had a hard time clicking it. There we go. All right, and so it reapplied that analysis, and you can see it remade my flow some clusters. That's great, but I don't really want them there. Where I do want them is down here, back to where they originally were. And you can see that first cluster that says zero. That's because it was it was applying onto um, the whole sample, and some of the cells in the whole sample didn't have that flow some analysis, so it's, it's zero now. Okay, perfect. All right, so that's an example of how you can reconnect the derived parameters to your workspace and reconnect them if you delete the drive parameters from your workspace. I, thanks for learning and I'll see you next time.